Hello everyone. What if I told you your life already has a superpower? For me, the superpower had a name. It was my grandma. How many of you believe that our grandparents had a superpower? A power to know about everything, a power to predict anything. My grandmother could believe my grandmother could remember everything from birthdays to marriage anniversaries not only that but also everyone's favorite recipe she was a walking encyclopedia in our family if anyone has any questions the answer comes instantly from her she was our original search engine today the same superpower exist everywhere but with one difference that is it's invisible this does not lie in any one person but it lies in our phone apps and other devices yes that superpower is nothing but it is artificial intelligence think about google map that helps you to read out the traffic around you without even noticing it think about your smart watch which helps you to remind about drinking your water or to complete the steps which you take think about the spotify app recommending you your next favorite song based on your mood all this happens behind the scenes and that's the quality of ai like my grandmother had ability to remember to predict or to analyze the things today ai does the same thing for billions of people billion times a day that's the hidden logic of ordinary where everyday system tools and technologies they are shaping our lives working silently behind the scenes i am sachin agarwal author and tech enthusiast with over a decade of experience into devops cloud automation and now ai for me ai was not a buzzword but it was a journey a journey that began as first steps of technology I still remember when I was in class 8 and my father bought me a very first monitor those bulky monitors running over a windows xp with a painfully internet speed with a 2g internet speed how many of you remember that 2g internet speed yes it takes so much of time to load a single image that you can boil a water or prepare a tea for yourself but it was a magic for me because that bulky monitor was a mystery box which can answer a lot of unanswered questions going in my mind during that time for example how could youtube hold so many videos how could we can send a email to anyone in any part of the world in few seconds and how can i talk to my friend who is living in the different part of world or any of a relative via the messengers that deepens my interest into the technology by the time i reached college i started learning the different computer programming languages and writing small programs not only that but i have started turning my ideas into the practical applications and building those applications this passion help me to land or to get my first job my career was my career started with the networking and it started further in and we moved further into the devops cloud and automation by writing the different kind of scripts into the python shell or any other programming languages the scripts which helps 
the lot of engineers a lot of people to reduce their repetitive jobs or to reduce their monotonous task but as we move further into the technology one day while i was working into the while i was working in my office i realized that i got a email from our it admin team which says that there is a bug in your application and if you will not fix it the if you will not fix it the system will crash in next 24 hours i thought it was a spam email and it admin team is just doing a phishing attack and as you we all do i totally ignored it but you know what happened the next day when i came back to office my system was not working and then i recalled that there was a email from the admin team which basically says about the application crash i reached out to my admin team and i asked them what was it they told me that this is nothing but there is a ai agent running behind the system which is monitoring our devices which is monitoring our application and that email was genuine i was so stumbled that there is such kind of a technology which can help us to predict the issues to diagnose the issues that was a light that was a light bulb moment for me because we engineers who until now were fi were firefighting in the midnight and to fix any of the issues now we have a super power a super power which can give us which can help us to predict the issues beforehand which can help us to write the better codes which can help us to optimize our application and all this can be done in few seconds that was my first real introduction to the artificial intelligence now as we talk about ai lot of times we think that it's about sci-fi movies robots or chat gpt or the applications running in background or it's about the voice assistants recommendation systems or any of the algorithms which are running and helping us to predict the things but you know it's not limited to that today ai is helping in every domain in every era you talk about a student living in a remote village he can basically use ai powered ai tutor and he can create his own personalized lessons imagine the quality of education he is getting imagine the with this kind of education where he can reach and what he can do because in his remote village there is no teacher who can reach out there farmers are getting help by understanding the soil quality the getting the crop to able to predict the crop diseases and the quality not only this but it is also helping us in a different ways by summarizing our meeting notes in when we are in a zoom or any other platform to reminding us about taking medicines reminding us to complete our daily steps reminding us to take water on time so somehow ai is not acting as a competitor but it is a collaborator it is a companion the hidden power of ai does not lie in replacing human wisdom in fact the hidden power of ai lies in scaling it for my career as most of the time it it was about the technology it was about the infrastructure making it scalable secure reliable and faster i was thinking that it's all about the machines algorithms codes or writing the scripts 
but what i learned what i realized that machines are not executing but machines are learning i'll tell you one of a story one of a incident rather which happened in my family recently last week on 15th of august which was the national holiday in india one of my cousins he was not feeling well and he took a video consultation from one of a doctor doctor advised him to undergo certain tests and while when he saw his report he observed that there are lot of vitals which are going on a higher side he was curious to understand he was he was he wanted to know what is his in his report because a lab technician mentioned that he should visit the doctor immediately you know what he did he took a help of chat gpt he uploaded his lab report into the chat gpt and asked for the recommendation asked for the analysis chat gpt told him about the different viruses which are going on a higher side from blood pressure to the thyroid or to the any other disease and it suggested it recommended to visit any cardiologist next day when we got a doctor appointment and visited him it was almost the same decision so you can understand the power of ai that how a non medical field person can able to understand his report can able to take the right decision for himself it's not about the hidden power of ai is not in algorithms machines and code but the hidden power of ai is in us the real power of ai is not replacing us it's amplifying it it's not about the man versus machine it's about the man with machine so as we step further into this ai driven era the question is not about will ai take over the question is how will you take over ai to unlock your potential and shape your life for the better future thank you